This is precision ground flat stock, also known as gauge plate. It's an oil hardening carbon steel. It's a tool steel. And from this, we're gonna be making some lathe tools for the watchmaker's lathe. So the reason why I'm doing this and not cutting the trend bridge like I had planned, you see, these... I need a tool small enough that can both bore the holes and cut the recesses. And it's hard to find suppliers that make this tool. And if they do, it's super expensive. So in the past, I was researching how to grind a lathe tool. I came across an excellent video demonstration by the Latit Watchmaking Technicum and I'll provide a link to that video in the description below. The only thing I think it was lacking is it doesn't explain anything about the actual tool geometry. And I found a great resource on the web by a guy named Steve. Steve created this awesome PDF showing the steps on how to grind lathe tools and the angles required for all types of materials. Also, link down below. Keep up the great work, Steve. I combined all this information from the two resources and will hopefully produce a tool that will work. Time to cook these bad boys with some propane. Now it says here to oil quench from 1450 to 1500 degrees Fahrenheit or 780 to 800 degrees Celsius. I honestly have no way of measuring the temperature. I don't have a heat treating oven. So I'm just going traditional and I'm going to get it to cherry red for a couple minutes and then I'm going to quench it. The principle into why I'm doing this is basically if two materials were having a fight by rubbing them against each other, the harder material win by wearing down the other. So the lathe tool needs to be harder than the material I want to cut. Before the metal was in what is called its annealed state, meaning it was soft. I could cut it, I could file it. And let me just show you what I mean. So if we have a scale where this is hardest and softest, we can place items So here are the tools when they're in their annealed state. We have the saw, the file and the stone. Now that I've hardened these, if I try to cut them with the saw, it's going to blunt the teeth. And if I try to file these tools, it's going to make the file smooth. Now the only thing harder on the bench is this stone, which is good, but it still needs one more step to get it right. You see, the stone is the hardest of them all. 
but if I were to drop this stone off the bench, it will likely smash into several pieces. This is because the harder a material, the more brittle it is. Currently these tools are too hard, and with the working forces, the fine cutting edge and tip are likely to be chipped off in the lathe. So some people back in the day figured out by reheating hardened steel and letting it cool down, it will soften the steel and the amount of heat applied relates to how soft the steel will get. This is known as tempering. The rule of thumb is that if you are tempering cutting tools, you want them to be in the light straw color range. See by the blue color on the tip of the parting tool that I've tempered this way too far and the tool is now too soft to use. This is a great finish for watch screws or watch hands, but not good for lathe tools. I'm super happy that the way those lathe tools turned out, I mean, they're honestly probably the best lathe tools that I've ever made. Even though the carbon steel, you know, it cut the silver steel drill rod, which was the first material that I cut quite easily with the excellent smooth finish left on the steel. And it cut through the brass like a hot knife through butter. So looking forward to using the one millimeter tool that I made in the next video. Guys, I humbly apologize. I under-delivered last week by not uploading this vlog. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to say any excuses or responsibilities lies with me. For all of you guys out there chasing your dream, remember, don't give up, work hard and persevere. And as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see any of my upcoming videos, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or something you want to say, feel free to leave it in the comment section below.